Hey y'all, Matt here, Bobcat Bonsai. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick talk and I'm just going to show you some new trees I picked up and some work that I might end up doing to them in the future. Just a few little things like that. So let's uh, get to looking at these trees here and as we're looking at the trees we'll just talk about what's, what's on my mind and things like that. Alright, let's get to it. All right, so to start with, I've got this little Shimpaku juniper here. Um, it looks a little bit rough, and we'll have to get this all cleaned up and everything. But, I think it's going to be okay. I'm not really a big fan of the shape or anything anyway, so... We'll just have to get all this dead cleaned out of it, and then we'll get everything brushed down. There's What sold me on it was I saw a lot of good-looking buds down lower. And I'm looking forward to working with those and seeing what comes from it because as you can see on the top here not too much looks promising um, so other things on top of that would be I know it's Thursday and we normally do tree search Thursdays but um, my schedule is about to become super busy not only with these trees but I have three kids and all three kids are involved in sports and it just leads to everything being a very very hectic um, time of year so I won't have the time to do my tree search Thursdays going through in spring um, so that's one big change you're gonna find I do plan on still making, trying to make as many videos as what I do now. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but I will make as many videos as I possibly can. As you see here, this tree has got the nice bark here, and it's peeling and revealing the red. Sorry, this, this is definitely a video that's going to bounce around a lot between two different subjects. But, so... I thought it all looked really rough and then I looked right here and this part looks like it's thriving so good that I'm okay with how rough the rest of this looks because this tree is still fighting strong. It just needs to be able to get through all this craziness that's going on right now. So that is um, my plan with this Shimpaku Juniper here. Let me slide you back a little bit further. Give you a little look see we'll get it all cleaned up looking good all those fun things alrighty so this next tree is called a southern gentleman or an ilex v i don't know what that means but this tree had phenomenal movement running all the way up. So I couldn't help but buy this. And I will say, since we don't really have much taper, this one's probably, we're probably going to hit an air layer in here this year. So we'll put an air layer here this year, which will then give me a twin trunk to run off of. Then I want this to come up and take off as the new leader right through here, which then was snipped there. That's dead. That's growing out healthily there. We'll have to check though, as we get through all of it and see later on. Um, We're definitely going to have to repot this. So let's take a look right here. Look at, oh, my finger was all in the way. That's all the roots, just all bunched that's been there tight. So this one's definitely getting repotted this year into a bigger pot. This spring, I don't think I'm going to have too many um, trees going into bonsai pots besides the ones that I'm planning on keeping as a Mame, the rest 
are going to be going into bigger pots so that they can grow and thrive. That's my overall goal with everything else, is let it grow and thrive and see how it does through that. These might not even be tree roots. These might actually be roots from all these weeds that are in here. That's definitely a tree root though right there. Uh, I'd never really dug down on this to see. I know that this branch is definitely connected down lower. Maybe it's connected at a root. Wouldn't that be cool? Because it doesn't look like it's connected at the trunk. Sorry, let me get you in there. Doesn't look like it's connected at the trunk. So, maybe it's got a root and I'll have another little tree to grow from there. That would be wild. But, we'll figure that out more come spring. Alright, so, hope you enjoyed this little video of my little trees here. I look forward to getting back into making my tree search Thursday videos come mid to late summer back into fall. Definitely will have more over next winter up until about this time of year again next year because, well, the big thing is the lacrosse. The crawl season kicks off, and once the crawl season kicks off, my entire world just flips upside down. So I've got three kids that play lacrosse. My daughter does gymnastics on top of lacrosse. I officiate lacrosse. I coach girls lacrosse. Yeah, so lacrosse season is a very busy time of year. So I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video, which should be coming up shortly. All right, thank you.